What's up, guys? Um, it's Andrew from HTC One Soft Modder, and I'm pretty sure by now you've already seen the new HTC One that HTC announced, um, aka the M8, and along with that, Sense 6. Now, if you already have an HTC One that's rooted, you go search on XTA and they flash that new ROM, but that's the unofficial build. Now, and I'm pretty sure when HTC will really see that later on this summer, they'll include more features, but here's a quick breakdown of the features that you can already get on your HTC One. Now the first one I'm going to go over are the uh, quick setting customization. So to get that, just go to your quick settings, hit the clipboard, and you can see now that you have more options to add and remove quick settings from your device. In addition to that, you'll be able to see that now your device has themes. So to get to those, just open up your settings app, <clears throat> go down to personalize, and you can see now there's a theme option, and you just change that accordingly. So if I wanted this one, you go ahead and tap it, hit apply hit yes okay and you can see that apply to your phone now this usually just affects the HTC apps along with blink feed so now blink feed you could also change the way that it looks so this is the orange thing and if you go back into your settings you can check out that also your 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 toggles and the highlighted colors are also changed so you just change that back to any different one hit apply hit yes and you can see that it'll change the phone and it also change the blink feed menu as well. Now blink feed also has the same category features that it did that it was introduced on Sense 5.5 and there's also like the new um, scrolling so it doesn't feel like a page anymore it just feel like you continuously just scrolling down. Also on the camera app you can see now that there's a new design for it it looks um, it's a lot cleaner these white icons and if you go into the switcher, you can see that there's um, the more circular icons now, so it doesn't look like all clunky like it did in Sense 5. Now, all the same features are there, like panorama, the front view video, and the Zoe camera. Um, HTC also changed like the way their stock apps look. So if you go into the calendar, you can see now that you could um, have a status bar that's blended in with the app, and that the, the colors do change along with the themes as well. So here's the contacts, so, so you can see that there's um, the blending and there's different colors. A lot, of the, a lot of the HTC stock apps have been have added this new flat colorway. So you just like the radio also and the world clock also. They're not all the same, like see all the color on the top, so it just varies by the app. Um, and you also saw the earlier the settings app too, that one also has different um, colorways. They also added the ability to add fonts to it. So in your settings app, go down to the um, to the display and, and gestures menu, and then you can see under font style, you can see the default Helvetica LCD, and you can also have the option of getting more online through the Play Store. So you get a bunch of them, just um, you can download them, and then they, they will would apply it through that same way. So now there's also been a new feature added to the um, to the app switcher. So now instead of having um, to like swipe up to move apps, you can just click that X on the top, and then all the apps will be closed automatically. So just to save you time and stuff. Also, um, HTC also announced the new Extreme Power Saver mode. Now, this that mode is um, absent from this ROM, but I'm pretty sure it'll be added into the official build. But as of right now, you just see that Power Saver. It's just the same one that already shipped out with the HTC one before. Now, in your display and gesture sh settings, you'll be you'll actually see that there are um, motion gestures like the double tap the screen to wake up. But because this isn't the official release from HTC, they're not active because they probably need some like um, an updated kernel or something in order to get those to work. Um, so we'll probably have to go back to those later on in the summer when the official build starts rolling out to the HTC ones. Okay, granted this isn't the official build of Sense 6 for the HTC one, but I mean it pretty feels it feels pretty much close to one. There hasn't been any noticeable lag or any forced closes in apps or anything. It's run pretty smooth from the from the day or so that I've already been running it on my phone. Um, I hope this helped you guys out. Be sure to check out the full breakdown on HTC One Softwater. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.